Hey guys, welcome back to Coin Knowledge. Today we're here looking at Citizen Conflict, which is aiming to be a free-to-play team-based shooter game set in a dystopian world of Ether Islands that is actually taking place at the time of this recording. They're building on BSC uh, Smart Chain, and it's supposed to be a AAA experience built in Unreal Engine 5. And if you guys are a fan of crypto gaming and just crypto or gaming in general, consider liking the channel or liking some of the videos and subscribing to the channel. Your support means a lot. And getting into Citizen Conflict, we'll go over their website, white paper, uh, their token, their native token that is going to be set in the future, and look at some of the gameplay and kind of my overall opinions of this project. And again, this is in development, so things are subject to change. But if we look here at Citizen Conflict, a new era has begun. We'll kind of read their little intro paragraph here before getting further into the website and white paper. So Citizen Conflict, again, is that free-to-play team-based shooter game where every match is fought for survival and valuable loot. Hence, you know, NFT, gaming technology, Web3, and there is going to be a PvP aspect of it. And they do have their gameplay, again, which we'll get into. Next level of monetization. So, are you ready to take over, show it, and own it? Regular size pool, tournaments, and valuable NFT loot will grant you a chance to really you know, make money in this ecosystem. And I already I'm thinking, you know, maybe esports way down the line or, or maybe not. Or even watching just maybe some influencers or gamers on, you know, platforms like YouTube, Twitch, play this game and kind of play, you know, with money on the line with stakes. That way kind of adds a more competitive mantra to it. I think it'd be, again, another project to bring more eyes into the space, maybe more gamers into the space, more money into the space. I'm always about projects like this. I can kind of cover a more wide you know, a variety of audience. In my opinions, personalize your experience. Citizen Conflict is not only about a straight or about straight shooters, but the right gear and strategy as well. So there's going to be a strategic to this. Weapons, masks, characters, and their special abilities play a big role in winning or losing the match. So balance your squad. Pick the right buffs and upgrade your gear the way you need to come out on top. So you kind of see here, this is Pig. Obviously, it makes sense. Nyan, Neon Cat, and Nyan. Neon Cat, Sphinx, Chicken, uh, you know, the different mask. Again, playing that different kind of gear, different stats. Joker, looks kind of cool. I, I, I got to see the skull. Let's see here. Skull, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool artwork. Again, kind of giving that more cyberpunk dystopian artwork within the game. Uh, which is, again, the setting of it, which I, I like, you know, uh, in my opinion, I think it's always kind of a cool game set piece kind of artwork. If you're about it, you're about it. If not, maybe it's not for you. But as always, I will link Citizen Conflict in this project's website beneath in the description below. So you can get in here, take a look, see, you know, do your own research on this project. Because, again, none of this is financial advice. Just bringing this project to your attention. And there's going to be, obviously, the gear that we saw, the mask, for an example. Then they have the heroes, which are not the run-of-the-mill heroes. They do have different personalities, syndicates, buffs, perks. Again, just more of that, adding that strategy to the game. They do have the different classes like Assault, Support, Medic, and Specialized class, which is pretty typical in a team deathmatch or team shooter game kind of like this. So you see a Medic maybe, uh, maybe just like a Assault, uh, maybe more of an Assault. Uh, and then this could be something like Support or Medic. Again, I see the little bag here now. Again, more artwork here. And they do have little tabs here where you can see they do have their YouTube channel, their Twitter, where you look at gameplay and updates. Or you can go to their Medium, get more latest news. They actually do put out articles quite a bit. There has been some recently when I went in there and took a look at. But, again, I'll link this below. That way, if you are semi-interested in this, it kind of forces you to do some research on your own, which you should always do if you're ever looking at a project. Do your own research. This is just to bring this to your attention, uh, as always. So dominate the, dominate the Ether Islands Extraction. If we look at the different game modes that they currently have planned, Extraction being one of them, which will be a PvP VE. So it will be players versus players versus environment. Uh, game mode played in squads of four, where your goal is to fight through the districts of Ether Islands all the way to District 1. Think maybe Hunger Games? Maybe? We'll see. Also referred to as Arcadia while getting valuable loot from NPCs, chess, and killing other players. So that's extraction. And then obviously Battle Royale, which, hey, we know they're very popular. You know, look at Fortnite, Valorant, Warzone, just name a few. Apex, very popular. So Battle Royale, they hit. Games, or whether you like them or not, they're popular. Or played between many individuals, pairs of twos, 
players or a number of small squads, four players in each match. The goal is obviously to be the last player or team standing by eliminating all players. It's pretty well known by now. Syndicate Wars sounds cool. Team-based game mode where three teams made of different syndicates, Midnight, Corpo, and Hack Hunters of four face off each other on maps of, of smaller scales. The goal is to kill enemies as many times as possible and fill your vault with tokens. And they do have, uh, this is brought by the team of, I believe, Q, Q O R P O, if I have it right. And we'll see at the bottom, you can register your ID here. And they will have a native token not currently listed at the time of this recording. That is, Ccash uh, is created as a community driven governance token of citizen conflict. The token is a decentral decentralized power in the hands of the community. This allows players to legitimately decide the development direction of the ecosystem according to the vote of its citizens. Holders have a right to decide about essential phases of the ecosystem. Again, we'll take a more of a deeper look of Ccash here, here in a little bit later on in this video. And look at the roadmap here. You can kind of see what they've accomplished, what they plan to accomplish, you know, moving into the new year now, obviously. They plan to have, you know, their second season, uh, second alpha season for Citizen Conflict, open access for Districts 9 through 8 in Crypto Citizen for Battle Royale mode, and then more NFT sales. And if we look more into their roadmap here, just more districts, more betas it might look like. And that's it currently for right now. But as really all projects that we cover that are in development, time is going to be the only thing that tells here. But it looks cool so far what they have going on. Partners, you know, Pokestarter, Pokestarter Games, Cetify, just to name a couple. Pretty cool partnerships they have them. And yeah, it is a Q, I think it's Q O Q O R P O Game Studios. And they have all their socials here listed here at the bottom. If again, if you want to get in here, take a look. And they have their storyline, brand kit, white paper. If you look at the white paper and I'll kind of scroll through here if you want to feel free to pause at any moment to either read or look at any of this white paper if you're not going to get in here and look at it yourself. But again, I do recommend that if this is a project you're interested in. So they have an introduction, the opportunity here, and they do have another kind of white paper download uh, for the story. And the story is right here too. Again, the game being set in the early 2030s. Scary enough, not even that long away when you say it out loud. But humanity realized that if it doesn't unite in effort to take on the climate crisis, its consequence could threaten human survival on planet Earth. So that's kind of the time set. So again, in that cyberpunk dystopian future, which really doesn't sound that long in the future, but we'll, we'll see. And the gameplay here, again, feel free to stop at any moment. They will have their different syndicates. Again, we'll be covered Hack Hunters, Corpo, and Midnight. So Corpor, Corpo is at home in the high street of Ether Islands. Hack Hunters, Notorious Mercenaries, Midnight, Royal, Royalty of the Night, is a bunch of street knights and queens from the lower classes, kind of to break it down a little bit, in your typical classes, medical assault, support, and specialist. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll scroll through a little bit of this, but we've covered most of this already. It's just on their main website. But again, if you just want to pause and take a look at the white paper, but again, I'll, I'll link this below. You can get in here and take a look if you're interested. If you look at that token that they do have planned to release in the future, their native token here, Cybercash or Ccash, Again, currently not listed, so we don't have price or market cap, but they have the token address on BSC, and the info is going to be their governance token, kind of the same information here. That's about all we have on this page, but if you're curious on their tokenomics, uh, again, subject to change as it is in development, but this is kind of their tokenomics here, what you can do here, and kind of the token, token metrics of how it's broken down, their vesting period, and the distribution. All right here, revenue revenue flow, and then project partners, you know, what they've raised. And if you look at their gameplay, again, what they actually have going on currently, and this is their Twitter where they actually do bring out a lot of gameplay videos, uh, screenshots, just what they have going on so far. So if you're interested, take a look at their Twitter. If you're not going to look at their Medium or YouTube, which are other platforms in options as far as getting in on this project, just seeing what's going on. But it looks very clean, looks very smooth, which you do like to see in a project, especially one that's building right now in the bear market, I think is always something to highlight in the current market conditions. But either way, guys, that is Citizen Conflict, a project I just wanted to bring to your attention I found today, and I thought, hey, looks kind of cool. I'm interested. 
Maybe you will be too, but if not, let me know in the comments below what you think of Citizen Conflict. Is it a project that you see potential in? Is it not? Uh, are there other projects you want me to cover? Let me know in the comments below. I always want recommendations. I'm always loving to find new projects and bring it to your guys' attention. And uh, otherwise, yeah, let me know. And if you can like the video, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. And I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, see you guys.